I feel like Charlie's Angels is the beginning of female empowerment on TV. These characters were women who uh, worked in a man's world and had to make their own way. Uh, you just hadn't seen women like kick and butt <laughs> in any genre before. And um, they, they, they really stand for something. This movie is about the formation of a team. And it's really about how two uh, current angels bring along this new recruit in Elena Hofflin, who's a science nerd, basically, with no aspirations for uh, taking down international criminals. Um, but they all get involved in this uh, case. And um, through this, they really form a bond, a team. They love each other and uh, love working together. And then, uh, so essentially, Bosley gets to form her own new team of angels. The great thing about the angels is that they all bring something different to the table. So Elena, who's a scientist and can hack anything and has this incredible skill set when it comes to engineering and mechanics and computers, is very unlike uh, Jane, who's really a weapons specialist who is military trained. And so she's very, uh, she really understands sort of chain of command, how to run an operation. And then Sabina's the wild card of the bunch. She's got skills that mm, you wouldn't even know where they came from. They came from prison. And um, they involve a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. She loves her knives. She loves um, just being sort of brutal when necessary. She's like, a, she's like our blunt force. Bosley is like a rank in the organization, the Townsend Agency. It's like a lieutenant, if you will. So the organizational chart of the Townsend Agency goes Charlie at the top, all the Bosleys who run different divisions, different outposts, and then the angels are like agents of the organization. So it's kind of run more like the CIA or other familiar organizations. Um, and I play one of the Bosleys. Uh, I work mostly out of New York, but I'm called into action when uh, another Bosley, frankly, dies. I had such a great time with all of the actors. I'm truly in love with every actor in this movie. I love all of the, the women, but we had incredible guys in the film as well. Noah Centineo came in. Sam Claflin's incredible in the movie. Of course, Sir Patrick Stewart's like one of my all-time favorites. Jaiman Hansu's incredible in the film. So we've just, we put together such a great cast. And as, as an actor's actor, I just love being with all these guys. Audiences are going to have a great time in this movie. There's a lot of laughter. There's very intense action. Honestly, when I watch the action, I was there when we shot it and I've been editing it together. And I still get like, ooh, ooh, like what's going to happen? I still feel that way when I'm watching it. So I just love how, you know, grounded the movie is. It's about real women. Um, doing extraordinary things and I feel like there are extraordinary women all around me every day being heroic and that's what this movie is about the everyday heroics of women who who love other women who trust other women who believe them and who want them to um, succeed in life. Liz kind of took this world that we've all gotten familiar with and just expanded it she kind of just hit fast forward and thought well where would we be uh, circa 2018-19 and um, you know, there's more of us. We're louder. Um, we are stronger in numbers. And uh, I think that's, you know, really goes along with kind of like this resurgence of, uh, and this, this like, you know, uh, really distinct sense of self that we're developing in this particular generation. It's not like about brawn. It's genuinely about how you work as individuals together and how you become a really, um, you know, formidable unit as a group and um, you know we don't like glorify our characters as if they're heroes like you know as if you couldn't be one of them uh, the whole point is that uh, you know if you kind of know how to approach something with compassion and kind of like intelligence I, I think it's uh, it's not about doing a bunch of push-ups and pulling a gun on a bad guy it's like you know outsmarting someone and, and doing it for a good reason and that will genuinely be what prevails. None of the elements of our group 
work well together in the beginning because we're so individual and we're kind of like we've just developed independence in a way that women have to um, but almost to a fault sometimes you know you think I can do it I can do it I can do it myself you know I'm, I'm fine I'm on my on my own I don't need I don't need anyone's help as the movie goes on my energy is just like I think we should all be together all the time I think we could do so many great things if we just like never separate and by the end that kind of is like uh, we become a very solid unit she kind of made me feel um, I don't know, like, so able. Like, the exact reason she's making this movie, the, the, the way that we as women can only build each other up because we know each other through and through is what I felt in the beginning of this process. Nay is <clears throat> like a wonder pup. She literally, like, looks at things with, with such genuine wonder. And luckily, we were all, I think, cast quite um, appropriately. Her character is kind of new to this world of espionage <laughs> and uh and she's quite taken with it and she's also uh you know in, in this like this implied innocence also comes with insane brilliant brain status like she is uh, a genius and she's developed this technology that's like we're all defending it's like literally the reason for this whole movie is naomi's character and um she is that way. I don't know. She's just incredibly honest and she's really funny. And uh, I think I think if we could all be like Naomi, the world would be a very, a very, a really sweet place. You need your friends to look at you and go like, dude, yes, yes, go, go. And I've got you. And um, I think that's what this movie does. You know, one one character in this movie is is never going to survive. We, we We literally are only okay because of the family that we create and um, you know that can be huge that family can literally reach so far and that's kind of the goal here you know to be like we're all in this together this film honors its predecessors because we start on the basis of all of the uh, Charlie's Angels that has come, come before it so we have the Townsend agency has gone international we still have teams now of angels who are dispersed globally. Um, we also have Bosleys, which is now sort of like a rank. So um, each, you have a Bosley assigned to a team of angels. Um, and I think that's really exciting for 2019, especially because now it's a way to bring so many more people into the world of Charlie's Angels. I come from a massive combat background, um, which was a, an amazing foundation for me to just build on to really get into the character of Jane. As Jane is XMI6, she knows her stuff. So she, you see her fighting with um, a tranquilizer sniper, with obviously with hand firearms, with, um, uh, you see her with, I do a massive knife fight as well. And for that, we spent a lot of time in the stunt room uh, with the amazing stunties and stunt coordinator and fight director that we had. Um, and what was great is that not only did we train on, on it by ourselves, and I could spend a lot of time with Jonathan Tucker, who plays Hodak, and just learning the fights and getting to know each other and how we each move so that when we were on set, we could really like get it super on point. But Kristen and Naomi and I spent a lot of time just doing random stuff, just so that we had that, we found that bond and how we each find our little thing and how we move so that when we all fight together and we all work together as a team, it's super co like it's, we work really really well to be with each other, which was amazing. I think the most important thing about um, the action and the comedy of the whole film is a, is the fact that it's so truthful and it's so real. You don't just see these angels, these amazing, untouchable women, just doing these awesome fight scenes and then saving the day, you also get to see their personalities and who they really are and you watch them win and you watch them fail and you, you laugh with them, you cry with them, which is so important and which is what makes them so relatable and genuine and hopefully you fall in love with them. Naomi is so wonderful and genuine and loving that I think that really comes across in Elena's character. Elizabeth Banks is a powerhouse. She 
to has total vision as to what she wanted in this film, which makes it so much easier to steer the ship if you know exactly where you're going, which was such a relief for everyone, I think, because obviously doing a new Charlie's Angels is a massive deal. Like, it's, you're like, there's some pretty big shoes to fill. <laughs> but Evie knew exactly what she wanted, and she's an incredible leader, and what's even more incredible is that she was in the scenes leading the ship. So um, just even watching that and being around that and being part of that, it really, really, on set, you felt this sort of, we're creating something incredible here, and we can't wait to see what the end product is. So she was amazing. Our movie is a continuation of the original Charlie's Angels franchise, only now, in 2019, uh, the, the, the agency has gone international. So we are in Germany, and uh, there are many Bosleys um, uh, all across the world. Elizabeth Banks plays Boz, who is also an ex-angel as well. And uh, the story is about these three women who come together uh, to ultimately fight injustice and help my character Elena. All of us bought, brought a piece of ourselves to our characters, uh, not saying that we are our characters or that we're fully, uh, that we're completely alike, but I definitely think there were elements of that. I think that was something that Liz definitely looked for when she was casting these roles. I think that was really important for her. She wanted these women to feel authentic. She wanted the women to feel, um, have a sense of groundedness and she wanted the women to be really different and bring different things to the table. In the movie there's lots of Bosleys because obviously now it's an international agency and Liz plays our Bos and what's awesome is that they are ex-angels so they then work themselves up. It's not just like, oh, you hit 40 and it's like, right, see you later. You gotta, you gotta go and find another job. It's like, no, you are, you have the experience and now you lead the other women, which I think is really important, you know, because, um, yeah, Liz Banks is a boss lady. This is a continuation of the original Charlie's Angels franchise, which was, we had the movies that were about 18 years ago and then the, the TV show. And what's, perfect is the fact that we are carrying on a legacy for 2019 which is, is is amazing and you know you've got a story about women working together um uh also failing together um learning to um learning about themselves together going on a journey being active uh, as i said before pushing a narrative forward all of these things but with the um iconic Charlie's Angels backdrop, which is the ultimate female agents. For me, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's like um, everything that I want in a movie.